Hey everyone, today I'm here to talk about one of my favorite crabs, the porcelain crab. Porcelain crabs are, are really cool and they're called porcelain crabs because their, their main claws are, are very delicate, almost like a, a piece of porcelain would be. Now the reason that these claws are, are really delicate is because they, they use their claws as, as a defense mechanism. So if they were approached by a predator, they would actually grab one of their claws with their other claw and they would actually break it off and they would actually offer it to the predator as, uh, as so, so the predator wouldn't eat the crab. And that's called hair trigger autonomy. Now, one of the really cool ways that porcelain crabs feed is they have this, this uh, uh, other chilliped or claw that has a net on each claw. And they actually use these nets to, to move their claws through the water and to, and to catch tiny particles that, that are in the water. And these could be uh, uh, plankton, zooplankton, small larvae. And these are the things that uh, the porcelain crabs use these uh, claws to, to, uh, to feed on. And uh, where can you find porcelain crabs? Well, if you go into uh, the oyster bars around Volusia County or a place where there's a, a real rocky place and, and you lift up one of those oysters and re look real close, you'll find that, that these porcelain crabs like to live up in the, in the crevices of these oyster bars. If you are uh, looking for porcelain crabs in Volusia County, one of the main ones that you'll find is the green porcelain crab. And the green porcelain crab actually isn't from uh, the east coast of Florida. Uh, they're actually from Brazil. Oh, oh my gosh. How did these porcelain crabs get over to the east coast of Florida? Well, scientists think that, that the larvae was actually transported in the bows of ships. So when the ships get over to, to possibly Miami or another port in, in Florida, and they empty out this, this ballast that, that's full of seawater into the ocean. These, these larvae are released into the ocean, and that's how these green porcelain crabs got here. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, this talk about porcelain crabs, and uh, hope, hope to see you soon.